Hello and welcome to what is number 14 in my Logic Gate tutorial. Uh, this is going to be a quick one because uh, the actual logic of this is uh, we've seen before. Uh, but I wanted to show the use of a Logic Gate in actual action. And funny enough, in my last video I did a uh, description of each Logic Gate and the purpose therein. It was quite a long one. Um, and in the process of that I found this fellow which I didn't know existed. And it's a counter. So how does the counter work? Well, first of all you have to tell it um, where it uh, counts up to. It doesn't by default count to 9. In fact, it starts at zero, so it's actually ten. Um, it, it, you set that in the terminal, and if you do that in a in a terminal, which I think I've got them hooked up, yeah, uh, the uh, power ca counter control is how you do it. Uh, it's the number of power cycles before transmitting power. If you set that at one, every time it clicks, it will transmit a blip of power. Now I've got it set to nine. Which means since it starts at zero and loops around, every time it goes from nine to zero, it blips a bit of power. And since you can daisy chain these up, it blips a bit of power to this one, which, by the way, is also set to nine. So now I have a counter that can count up to 99. Um, and uh, one of the tips I would give you, though, is when you set this up, run a wire from your terminal to each of these don't run a wire to the first one and expect it to change all the rest in the sequence it won't because the first one isn't powered so run a wire to each one individually tell it that you want it at nine if that's what you want uh, and then take the wires away which is what I've done here but I'm jumping ahead a bit I have here a target uh, which trips electricity every time that little target is hit and I have a generator going up to a master pylon which is powering it it's also powering a switch here connected to a pipe pistol or automatic gun. Currently it says empty at the top there, so I'll have to uh, repair that. So one of the unfortunate things with this is you can't auto repair it in any way. So you repair that in the build mode. Uh, and uh, every time that that little red thing is hit, it connects to the first of the sequence. And that will go up one every time it's hit. When it reaches nine and turns to zero, this one will go up one. So we have a way of counting a score. So what I'll do is I'll repair that. I'll just make sure the switch is off. It is. So we'll repair that. And you notice the, that spun around. It says armed, ready to go. If I flick this switch, we'll see every time it hits the target. I'm looking for it to do it over there. And it's a random shot. There's one. It clicks to eight. Now let's get it to click to... If it'll actually hit it, <laughs> it may not really want... Oh, there's another. Nine. One more. Come on. Oh, annoying. Right, we'll repair it again. And since this switch is on, it'll start firing straight away. So I want to come over here. I'll, I, actually, you know, I'm going to switch it off so we can see what we're doing. Because I don't want it to rotate round without being visual. So if I repair this, it won't fire. Although I have got my switch in the wrong place. <laughs> Right, switch on. It's 39. And if it hits the target, that should change to 40. Boom! We have a nice little counter. Works really well, and of course that could be connected to a set of light boxes. If you look at my tutorial 6, I talk about counting to 1, 2, 3 using a kind of like liquid crystal display kind of thing. Um, and interestingly, uh, uh, we have a situation where I've got some logic uh, and what this logic is is an OR that's OR not an NOR and the way an OR gate works is it triggers if it gets any power in but of course to get that decision you have to give it power so I have a pass through here which I cover in my previous video 13 using an AND gate really don't worry about that just note that the OR gate is powered and it's also got no green ring so that means it's ignoring that pass through the only power it's going to trigger on is this line here which is hooked up to this which is currently at five now we know it won't send a pulse until it goes from nine to zero and I don't want to sit here having it hit 50 shots it'll actually sorry it'll actually trigger when it changes from five to six not nine to zero um, if we put another one in the line we could have we've got tens hundreds we could have thousands and so on have a really big high score but I don't want to have to wait 
randomly while it hits the target. So I've built a triggering mechanism that's automated. So we get rid of that wire there. We've excluded this from that particular experiment there. And I have here an interval trigger. And uh, it's set to turn on and off every second. So it goes on for a second, it goes off for a second. That's the minimum you can set that trigger. And I'll talk about that in a moment. And if I hook it up to the first line, you'll see it start to tick up. So what happens? See, now it's ticking up. When that reaches 9 and goes to 0, and the 5 on the left goes to 6, it will trigger the log logic gate. And I'll explain, explain why in a minute. But the word wow will light up. Coming up next. Boom. Now that could just as easily say um, 100 points or 1,000 points or something like that. Or game over or well done or whatever it is. Or it could be a completely different routine that changes the game. Uh, in my head I had a kind of pinball in mind. And I think a pachinko or a pinball could easily be done using this kind of technique. Like I say, the logic gate works if it receives a blip of power it will pass it through to that which will when the wow comes on it will uh, happen it happens very quickly so you don't really get a chance to see it other than the wow coming on um, it should happen anytime soon <laughs> um, and yeah the power cup there we go the power comes out of there and it goes to that conduit that doesn't go anywhere it's just neons light up wherever they're near a working conduit well that conduit isn't working until it receives that blip of power what else that means is we effectively have a clock. Now, granted, it's counting every two seconds, and I have a plan for that, as I did with my Mario. I have a plan to speed that up, but that's for another video. But if you set that from 0 through 9, and that 0 uh, through 5, uh, which is effectively 6, um, you have 59 seconds. And when it goes to 60, you could trigger a minute's. So at that point, you start getting a real world clock. You could then do it for hours. And from there, you could hide this, not use the counter at all as a clock, and create an actual digital clock using, let's say, the smaller light boxes, like the numbering systems I did in tutorial six. Of course, that's just one implementation of this particular unit. You could have it so that every hundredth person that goes through a doorway, every hundredth NPC goes through a doorway, gets zapped by electricity or, or gets a reward of uh, fireworks. It, the world is your oyster once you've got a counter. I didn't know this game had an actual counter. Uh, it's a brilliant addition, uh, radically overlooked, and you'll find it in the counters, I seem to remember, in the actual power uh, connectors and switches. And uh, I'm fairly sure it's there. Uh, there it is. Power counter. Transmit power briefly after cycling power 10 times. Use a connected terminal to change the max count, which is what I've done there. And like I say, do connect an individual line to your terminal. Change that. Connect another line from the other one. Change that. Don't uh, expect it to master change. It won't. Um, unless you're running electricity to it constantly. Uh, yes, so that is a power counter connected to an all logic gate which has been passed through from an AND to make a, a light come on based on a number count. And of course that number count originally was based on this little game that we've got going on here. You could set up paintballs, different targets, all sorts of things. Uh, and all it's mastered is by a switch. So power counter plus logic gate equals win. I was going to say wow then, but it's it's ages away. <laughs> so, my name is Vinny Voodoo. Thanks for watching this video. And look out for some more videos again soon.